I'm melting a couple tablespoons of butter in the pan here because today I'm going to make some potato soup. Okay, into the pot I'm going to add one chopped onion, four chopped carrots, and three stacks of chopped celery. Then I'm going to add a heaping teaspoon of uh, dried rosemary, heaping half teaspoon, half a teaspoon of thyme, and a teaspoon of dried rosemary, a little bit of salt, and some freshly ground black pepper. Now I'm just going to saute these vegetables for a couple minutes until they start to soften a little bit. Now I'm going to add in just a little bit of chopped ham and let that cook with the veggies for a little longer. Now you're going to add about two cloves of garlic and saute for just a minute. I forgot to add this when I was adding the other dried herbs, so you need about a tablespoon of dried chives. Now I'm going to add about a half a cup of white wine. Um, I stir that around, deglaze the pan until it's um, pretty much evaporated. I have about eight peeled, cut up russet potatoes here. Now I'm going to add about four cups of chicken broth, however much um, I need to kind of cover the potatoes. So probably more than this, looks like maybe six. Okay, now I'm going to put the um, ham bone in from Easter. And I'll have to add a little more broth again to this. Two bay leaves, um, you're going to add to the pot there. And then you're going to bring this up to a boil, reduce to a simmer, cover, and cook about an hour. Okay, my vegetables are all very soft now. So now I'm transferring it in small batches into my blender here and processing it until it's smooth. It is all pureed and done. Um, we put some extra little chunks of ham we had left over from the ham bone in there that we cut off. And now I'm just going to let it sit all day and keep warm or low. Either one really is fine. And just let it um, combine flavors even more. But that's it. That's our dinner tonight. Yum! So excited. Alright, here's some homemade bread that I made in the bread maker and then the soup all done. It's really good you guys so if you have a ham bone that definitely enhances it but you don't need to have the ham bone all right guys tonight for dinner I'm having zoodles um, we're <laughs> this is zucchini cut into noodle shapes just in case you are not familiar with what zoodles are um, my very good friend Wendy sent me this awesome vegetis the zucchini just goes in one end here and then you just twist it and it makes these little zucchini ribbons. So now I'm just going to salt these a little bit and cover them with a paper towel and a bowl to kind of get the moisture out of them. Okay, I'm heating up some olive oil in the pan and I'm gonna go ahead and add my zoodles and just saute them for a couple minutes in the olive oil. All right, here's dinner. We've got our zucchini noodles and some jarred pasta sauce, a piece of homemade bread left over from yesterday and some soup left over from yesterday. Okay, so tonight we're making Rubens, but the first thing I'm going to make are um, some sweet potato curly fries. Eric picked these up from the dollar store, so we'll let you know if they're any good or not. I just toasted the bread, and now I'm going to put the corned beef and, stop, and the um, Swiss cheese on, and just um, cook it for a couple minutes until the cheese is all bubbly and melted at 425. Cooking it at 425. Okay, all melted. I'm just going to get on some kraut and some Thousand Island. Okay guys, there it is all done. We've got the Reuben sandwich here, yum! And sweet potato fries and some apples. This is one of my favorite meals to eat out and it's so nice to make it at home and have it be just a fraction of the cost. For dinner tonight, we're having hot ham and rolls. Eric went out and sweetly bought this so I didn't have to make dinner with his own spending money. Um, I'd never even heard of hot ham and rolls until we moved to this area in Wisconsin and I'd, I've never heard of it anywhere else but um, on Sundays, they sell it like everywhere. It's just like a um, deli ham that's warmed and then you usually get rolls for free. And it's like five bucks. It's fantastic for a pound of ham and rolls. So with it, I'm having some carrots and some apples. And then Eric also picked up my favorite dip in the whole wide world, sun-dried tomato and basil, um, which you can see we had for lunch too. <laughs> we had the ham for lunch and dinner. And then um, some of these pita chips to go with it. Yum. So that's dinner. Okay, so tonight I'm making burrito bowls, which wasn't my original intention for tonight. I was going to make salad, but the um, when I opened up the boxes of Earthbound Farm stuff that I got, 
it smelled really bad and most of the lettuce in there was bad and the use by date wasn't until like two days from now so I'm gonna contact them because this isn't the first time this has happened with the spring mix and the spinach it's just disappointing and hopefully I can get my money back so anyways I'm going to um, coat these peppers with olive oil and roast them at 450 for about 15 minutes. I'm also going to put a little salt and pepper and a little um, oregano on them. I'm also cooking um, one, like four servings worth of rice and I'm going to make lime cilantro rice out of it as the base for our burrito bowls. I'm going to cut up all of these tomatoes and add them to the bowl. I have one avocado I cut up here and I might add two. I'll let you guys know if I do. I'm gonna add that to the bowl. And I have a little over a cup of frozen corn that I drained that I'm going to add in there. One can of uh, black beans rinsed and drained. Now I'm gonna take the peppers that I roasted and cut up here and put those in the bowl. All right, then I have basically just the top green parts of a bunch of green onions that I'm gonna throw in there. Got my rice mixed in there and I'm just gonna pour on my dressing and mix that up. All mixed and it tastes really good. So I'm just going to, um, Serve this with sour cream and cheese if anybody wants it. I think I might just eat it plain though. Oh, it's good. Here it is all done and I'm eating it with some whole grain um, corn chips. Yum. I'm starting to cook up some ground turkey. I'm going to take the leftovers from the other night with the rice vegetable thing that I made, put it together with the ground turkey and make a kind of enchilada type thing tonight. I added some salsa, probably about a half cup that up to the leftovers, and then um, some shredded cheddar. And now I'm just cooling off the turkey meat here that I added a little bit of taco seasoning to. Once that cools off a little more, I'm going to mix it with the rice mixture. I've got some whole wheat tortillas that I warmed up so they'd be really pliable. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of this mixture and roll it up. I know in no way is this actually enchiladas but that's why they're called enchiladas type things i'm just kind of making this up right now it tastes really good though okay i got 10 in there but i really like they are jam packed in there i probably could have used two um dishes but eh that's too much work for me so anyways i'm going to cover this with um enchilada sauce I actually bought this to make um, a bubble up taco casserole, which never sounded good to us, so we ended up using the ingredients for other things. But I'm glad that we didn't because now I can make this, which sounds really good. I've got this covered in enchilada sauce now. I'm going to um, grate on some cheddar cheese. And now I'm actually going to top this with tin foil and put it in the fridge for a while because I am prepping during nap time, which usually works out a lot better for me if the recipe allows for it especially today because Xander's getting his two-year molars in and he is very grabby. Okay, I'm gonna leave the foil on and stick it in a 375 degree oven for about a half an hour. Now that it's uh, been in there for a half hour, I'm going to take the cover off and cook it for another 15 minutes. There's dinner, we got the enchiladas all done, a little bit of sour cream on top, some homemade guacamole, and some chips. Mm -hmm. 